Okay, soundy friends, this is messy and impromptu, but I wanted to get this out there to you guys before everyone else finds out about it because Midas slash Behringer are fucking garbage. I took a risk. I bought one of the uh, DN48160s, the outputs. The documentation all over the internet is almost non-existent. I've read all the user manuals. I tried to reverse engineer the config files from the firmware could not find out anything so i decided i'll just take a risk i'll buy one these are supposed to be for stage connect which is using 16 channels bi-directional audio over xlr as well as phantom power to power shit really cool so far only the behringer wing supports it they also have ultranet on the out on the output uh sorry input and output of ultranet um none of the sites explain what you can do with the ultranet well i've got my x 32 rack here and I've got the 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 the, the um, they're with me while I juggle screens where is my there we go I got my talk back here uh, I'm just generating let's just go up to 440 sine wave um, and if I now go to my routing tab and I am plugged into input one so if I say output one mix bus one goes to oh I'm on the ultranet well, let's fucking hold this correctly Ultranet output, Ultranet 1 is Mixbus 1. Oh, hello. Hello. That is this bad boy here. Holy shit. Fucking brand new XLRs. Cheap XLRs. Oh, no, it's my Amphenol ones. One moment. Okay. Just to, to prove a point, I'm running... Fucking a mess here, really, but... Uh, this is going directly into the input of my RME Babyface Pro, um, which I'm just direct outing. And, wham bam, thank you, internet. Yeah, so long story short, the reason I'm so excited by this is that this bad boy you can get for about 500 bucks and it adds 16 hardware outs to an in ear mixing rig. That's a fucking really big deal nothing else on the market does that right now and more so to the point you aren't losing your usb compatibility of your x32 rack so you can still do laptop stuff with it live the only other options that existed before this was to buy the um, behringer stage boxes uh, which added a fuckload of extra inputs as well took up more rack space and cost over a grand so Long story short, 500 bucks, all these outputs, the documentation isn't clear on whether or not it works, it does, it's awesome.